Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's awesome build series. I believe this is episode five. And right now I'm looking at this minecart station, which was clearly episode four. But during episode four, towards the end, I showed off a little contraption right over here. This little thing that I made, which I, I didn't know what to do with it at the time. But right after I made this video for awesome build episode four, I clearly figured out what to make. It was another minecart station, which is in the title. So you guys knew that was coming. And I wasn't going to make a video of it since I just made a minecart station video. And actually, I'm, I built a tutorial on how to make this because you guys were very interested in it. But I didn't want the, the other minecart station that I made using this to go to waste and kind of just like disappear without me ever showing it because I'm still pretty proud of it. I mean, it's something that I built. I didn't use a tutorial for it. and. I'm sure there might be, there's probably easier ways of making it and maybe there's someone who made it the same exact way, but I don't care because I made it without using anything and this is with my own redstone logic. So I'm going to show you what the station looks like. It's actually right here. So I just put colors down here to represent the different stations you can go to. I, I pretty much call it a piston minecart station because you have to use pistons to leave the bay. It seemed like the most logical way of doing it. I got some double pistons right here. So I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So let me get some mine cards out. Oh yeah, also I'm gonna show you the inside of it too because a lot of people like to see what goes behind on the insides. It's pretty much just repeaters and torches. It's like the only way you can really set up uh, such a compact minecart station that's like right next to each other. Because if you see in a bunch of other minecart stations, usually it's one and then you skip one and then it's another one and you skip one. This is all right next to each other. So we're going to go to red first. So I just click this. The torch will come on. You can leave faster. It takes longer for the torch to light up because of all the repeaters. But it doesn't take that long for the train station to switch. So I'm going to hit this button. And as you can see, we went to the red station. And also I got a reset switch. So once you leave the station, everything resets. So now let's go to the pink station. Whee! And we go to the pink station. So I'm pretty sure you got, you guys get the gist of it. So now I'm going to show you how pretty much everything works on the inside. So I'm going to just click the green station. This will push whatever station it was at. The double pistons will push back. And then after it's pushed it back, the new station will be chosen. So let's do that again real quick. Hopefully I can fly over there really quickly. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that wasn't quick enough. It's it's pretty it's pretty fast. Like I said, it's the torches that take a while. So it's, it's actually... Uh, I, I don't think I can make it. But as you can see, it just pushes the piston out. Well, the piston pushes the track back in and then this will come right after this has pushed it back in and push a new track out going to a different station and this part was actually the hardest part because like i said i didn't use any tutorials online and for some reason i put all repeaters here and it would not work unless i took this repeater out this one right here would only extend to right here and the one like right here would only extend to right here i really didn't understand it but all I did was just remove one repeater at the end, put some redstone in, and it worked fine. And <laughs> I don't understand why, but uh, that, that's what it did. But yeah, guys, it's it's pretty simple to make, actually. And like I said, I just wanted to show it off before it kind of just disappeared into nowhere. And I forgot about it because I usually tend to forget about my own contraptions. There's a reset switch on it if I want to just reset it all. And I could go through every station pretty quickly. It does have one downfall to it though. If you go like this, so you pick this station, this station, this station, then this station, it will mess it up. Well, actually it didn't mess it up there, but it tends to mess it up actually. Let's try that again. See, it messed it up. Let's push this button and now it's gonna make like a circle. Watch, it's gonna make like a circle over here. See? That's the only downfall to it, because it's uh 
it's just hard to make this thing. It's hard to make it work right, and that's pretty much it, guys. So yeah, that's my extreme. This is my piston minecart station or compact minecart station. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and leave it a like, and stay tuned for my newest videos. Peace.